So the first of the jump trials. Next in five here from Cheltenham, one from Brooklyn in New York today. This is a two mile one furlong hurdle. And the top one is brilliant melody for Alex Cherry, El Tarbo, Darren Thompson, Kingdom of Trouble, Joshua Sutherland, Understory Rebel, Leon Van Rensburg, Cool Beg About, Martin Needham, Field Commander, Graham Clutterbuck, Hurricane Fly for Ryan Tanner, CB, Zarex, Craig Beck with Rainbird, D. Hooley, Golf Blinder, David Robertson, Rule of Maze, and Vanity Sophia for Craig Allen and and enemy state for Paul Rhodes. Away they go then, racing already. No time to dawdle as they race towards the first flight of hurdles in this two mile and one furlong event. And it's looking pretty pleasant weather-wise as they get to the first of the eight, which they all so can negotiate. And Zarex is the early leader then. So Zarex leading by about half a length to Brilliant Melody on the inside in the orange sleeves in second. Then Kingdom of Trouble in the black and red. Dennis the Menace hoops in third. Just Poking its head in front of the main pack is Corbeg about in those purple and white stripes. But it's Zarex who continues to show the way as they race down towards the second flight then. With a lead of a good two lengths over Brilliant Melody in second. And Kingdom of Trouble and Field Commander as they get to the second, which they all get over nicely with Golf Blinder. Just the back marker. Craig Allen's got two in this and they're both towards the back at the moment. The grey Vanity Sophia and Rule of Maze. And it's still Zarex as they take this left-handed sweep and climb uphill in now towards the back straight of this Cheltenham track. We'll be back at Cheltenham many, many times throughout the season. And Zarex in the lead by three to Brilliant Melody second. And Field Commander is third and Kingdom of Trouble is four. El Tarbo is five and Hurricane Fly is six. And then comes Cool Beg About and then Understory Rebel and Vanity Sophia as they get to the third. Which they're all over. Golf Blinder is still just the back marker, so pretty steady pace as they race past the water jump, which will be negotiated later on in the chase races. They get over that hurdle, which is flight number four, and that's half the jumping done. And now Brilliant Melody has gone up to join Zarek. So those two are disputing the lead, and they're a good four clear of the remainder, ahead by Kingdom of Trouble as they get over the fifth, which they're all over safely as well. Golf Blinder a little untidy at the back, but Zarek's still poking its head in front then. By, well, by about a neck now, I suppose, to Brilliant Melody in a second. Gap of about three lengths then to the main body of the field with Hurricane Fly coming around the outside just to show in third. Then Kingdom of Trouble and Field Commander. Cool Beg About and Understory Rebel. Then the Purple Jacket Rainbird. After that one, as they jump over flight number six, that's three from home. Just two more to take. Then they're racing downhill at this stage. And it's Zarex in the lead still by a neck to Brilliant Melody in a second. Gap back to Hurricane Fly is moving nicely in third. Then Field Commander is four. And then Kingdom of Trouble is five. Cool Beg About and Rainbird after that one then understory rebel who was in the league last season of course looking towards the back golf blinder he's just finding it a bit tough and being pushed along a good two lengths off the main body of the field but Zarex has reasserted and is get back into a two length lead again now as they race down towards the final five furlongs in the final two flights and Zarex trying to make it a virtual pillar to post victory in the lead then by two to brilliant melody being scrubbed along in second then hurricane fly kingdom of trouble and field commander as they get over the second that's good jump by the leader probably gained half a length in the air brilliant melody now being pushed along in second and challenged by Hurricane Fly, but they've got to get to this Zarex. Zarex it is, clearing the lead still. Being chased though now by Hurricane Fly and Kingdom of Trouble. Rule of Maze is creeping into it. So too's Rainbird on the outside. Coolbeg about on the rail. Brilliant Melody's dropping back through the pack, but it's Zarex in front. Zarex is in the lead by about a length and a half then now. Two Hurricane Fly throwing out a big challenge in second. Rule of Maze coming through on the outside. Here comes Kingdom of Trouble. Coolbeg about looking for a run up the inside. They've got one more flight to take. And it's Zarex in the lead, but now being strongly pressed by Rule of Maze. Over the final flight and Rule of Maze jumped it better and got away from it, but there was a fall at the back on the story rebels gone but it's rule of maze in the lead by about a length now powering up the hill racing towards the line and less than half a furlong to go now then rule of maze is in the lead and it's too clear jockey looks to be feeling pretty comfortable finishing like a train is golf blinder but up towards the line rule of maze is going to take it golf blinders come from nowhere to take second then king of trouble and vanity sofa and hurricane fly and zarek and cool mega battles after that one el tarbo might have been the last one to finish but it was Another winner for Craig Allen. He's going to throw out a big challenge for that national hunt title this season, I think. As he takes that one in fine style. Golf blinder came from absolutely nowhere. Was really struggling at the back. 
turning for home, but Rule of Mace takes it for Craig Allen. Golf Blinder for David Robertson was second. Kingdom of Trouble for Joshua Sullivan was third. Vanity Sophia for the winning trainer Craig Allen was fourth. And Rainbird for D. Hooley was fifth. And now a return to the commentator's box for the SO series to Ryan Tamasubi.